Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait for the perfect time It is the Monday Mayhem Wrap-Up. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here. Uh, in Good to be talking about wrestling back in Pittsburgh. Had a little bit of traveling this weekend. We'll talk about that in a moment. But with me, as always, from Beacon, New York, he's the only Mayhemer with a future Endeavor letter from the WWE. And I realize I haven't set up a shot because I forgot what podcast was in here last. But it is Mad Damn Mike. And that should be him right there for you guys on video. Hi. 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 <laughs> um. Hello. Raw, Raw was weird tonight. Raw was weird. Raw was great tonight. Man, we'll, we'll talk about that in a moment. First of all, my awesome things of the week. Awesome wrestling things of the week. I, the last person was short, so I'm still really adjusting here. We had our friends of the comic book pit were here. Uh, they, they did a panel this weekend on uh, 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 at Wizard World and uh, got to go record that and then head straight to Erie PA for our friends Revenge Pro uh, run by friends of the show, John McChesney. You remember that guy? And uh, Aaron Draven up there, their year anniversary. It was crazy, dude. 500 people packed into a ballroom at a at a hotel to do this show. It was it was great. And Excellent. Were there a lot of plastic balls? Plastic balls? Yeah, in a ballroom. Oh, oh, no. But there was a lot of alcohol. Okay, Flowed that worked. Freely. Uh, but no, it was a good time. It, they had the first match, and it was like a four-way. Uh, it was a fade of four-way with, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Bruce Gray and uh, Ron Mathis debuting, Johnny Pash, mm-hmm. another friend of the show, Anthony Gaines. Um, they're more Ohio and Pittsburgh guys. I, well, Gaines is more of a Buffalo area guy. Um, the Just that first one, that first match, and just how loud the crowd was. Uh, we had a three-man booth for the first time there, and – the first note I got from Marcus Mann was, we need headphones because it's too loud in here to hear each yeah. other. And it was just like, wow, uh, that's that's not a problem I have except for at RWA. I was going to say, that's shouldn't they always have headphones when they're doing commentary? They should have headphones, but they don't. Like, I set up headphones and then they don't use them. So I stopped giving them headphones. Okay. But I, I don't know what that says about commentary. Also, and apparently if there's a tag team, make sure you get people right in the tag team because um, they are not happy about it on Instagram. <laughs> oh, boy, Sorg. Fan, fans are not happy about the commentators on Instagram. and it's like, Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah. Hey, don't get me started on pronouns either. That apparently is a sticky situation, too. Uh, uh, yeah. 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 Pro- yeah. Pronouns, are, pronouns are bad, Sorg. Yeah. We, uh, we the, the announcers need to do some homework, and I think I'm going to have a conversation with them. Uh, <laughs> but, anyways, uh, but we are here. It is, uh, but, but no, it was great. It, we, you know, this is like we talked about if you listen to any Mayhem show or our. Um, our stuff last week with uh, John McChesley, like great after party and everything, a really good time. And uh, <laughs> I'm getting the comments now from the chat room. Uh, any any non WWE or other or not at least non Monday night wrestling awesome that you got to experience? Watch anything? I mean, I mean, uh, I, don't, I don't know how uh, we can go off of uh, Big E's message to you that that you shared last week on the stream you know, for the AM show. I I I kept this weekend a little wrestling free. Um, okay. Uh, I was celebrating the anniversary with the fiance. Yeah. So, yeah. oh, so you share the anniversary with Revenge Pro. Oh, excellent. No, ne- next year Sorg. we just, next year we just got to get all of you together. Oh, what you got there? New Lego set. It's a new Lego set. It's a new Lego. Wait, set. I thought that wait, I thought you already had like a, a Harry Potter I, castle uh, set. I this is, just... this is this is this is the Great Hall. Oh. So, so there's. There's two different kinds of Harry Potter sets. <laughs> the, the um, the big one that I have not opened yet because I need to put shelves in here, so I have room for my other Lego sets to put away, mm-hmm. so I can start working on the big castle. But uh, the sets that are these size, mm-hmm. they've only come out with two of them so far, but they connect together. Oh no. Yeah, so I may end up having two Hogwarts castles, one significantly larger than the other one. So, because I... look, 
Oh, they connect. and that other piece is the entire other set. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Which, which I've already completed. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So um, it's gonna get it's gonna get weird. It's gonna, it's get, gonna get weird. Well, yeah. Speaking of getting weird, Brandon has says his awesome uh is is a group of people that are performing wrestling moves in restaurants. I haven't seen this. Um, that is uh that is just a way that is that is a theme restaurant. It is a theme restaurant. <laughs> As a theme restaurant, Which, Sorg, I believe you saw an offshoot of them called Ham and Eggers. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Named by Bobby the Brain Heenan, ironically. <laughs> Tina, going off script. You know, actually, no, this is on brand for this show. Uh, hey, Avengers Endgame is out on digital tomorrow. Tina, you better fucking watch it. <laughs> uh, Tina, there's only... I. Hold on, do I need you to pull up Avengers how often spoilers? I want to talk about Avengers yes. on this show. Yes. But every time I see Tina in the chat room now, I feel like an asshole and okay. feel like I can't say certain right. things. Well, I put the spoiler graphic up just in case uh, anything. Well, but, 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 Sorg, Tina is the one who hasn't seen it. Okay. Like, the one person in this country. And she's avoided all her has... spoilers? I went and saw it again two weeks ago. No, <laughs> she did because... because I accidentally spoiled it because I assumed she saw it. Hmm. Because it made over two billion dollars. <laughs> she was not one of the one of the one of the two billion. Um, so uh, I, I, I related news. I picked up Shazam on Blu-ray today. Excellent. Mm-hmm. I haven't watched Excellent. it yet. I might put it on a little bit while. I'm Have you this. seen it already? Yes. Okay. It was fun. Yes. I oh, love. You know what I did see this weekend? I saw. No. Nah, Me too. I'm so liking. It was great. We did confirm for Honey Badger, no lion dick. Uh, yeah, I yeah. was looking. I was um, looking. it was it was it was it was lovely. It was enjoyable. It was um, but I've had the, I've had this thing, and I feel like Aladdin was the same thing. I feel mm-hmm. like if you were not somebody who experienced the original, I don't think it's as special. Um, I I don't think that's necessarily true. Lion King was more of a shot for shot remake. Than it, was. it was. It was. Yeah, the, then Aladdin was. Aladdin played with the movie a bit more. I, we, I think we played in dialogue. There's a little bit of fourth wall that kind of uh, blew up there with the song. Oh yeah, and um, wait, are we going to spo- uh, what, wait? Can we what, spoil what, Lion, Lion King? Is it okay? Uh, Is spoiler it... alert: Mufasa dies. Jeez, <laughs> oh, I'm just throwing oh, it out. The and I cried mm-hmm. like a child. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, like I think I cried more this time than I did when I saw it as a cartoon. I will tell you, I cried more the second watch through of Avengers Endgame than I did uh, Lion King. Same. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Because you know it's coming and it makes it worse. No, because not only because I knew it was coming, I knew what was coming, but I also looked for other things and noticed other things Mm. knowing what happened in that movie and it made me cry more. Oh. But um, also... Uh, Sorg, all right, this is gonna be controversial. There was one change in the Lion King movie I didn't like. What didn't you like? There was no Nala sex eyes. You know what? I have a problem with just the facial expressions in general in that movie. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I gotta okay. say, um, I was having, I was just, I was having some, some issues. Um, nothing felt like an emoted. You know, we usually this uh, do this at the end of the show, but I don't know. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I I know what you mean. They were going for the more realistic approach. Yeah, it was realistic, the but line. then I think we... Oh, we, like, we... Oh, like, lions can't raise their eyebrows. Like, yeah. that's, not a, that's not a thing they can do. There was a moment in a close-up on, like, Pumba. I'm like, I'm just looking at a pig right now. I'm just looking at the pig. I just, I don't know. By the way, Sword, you know all of that was fake. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, Not, like like none of it was real. Well, I think there was a few real shots, like at the beginning or something. Like, jo- no, like... no. John Favreau said there was one real shot in the movie. Yeah, and it is of the sunrise in Africa. But <laughs> <laughs> it's like That's why? It. Why recreate that? Yeah, because well, because why not? It was wow. gorgeous. So it's just a CG. Wow. Wow. Anyways. So raw tonight. Uh, speaking of the wild jungle of uh, backstage uh, in Little Rock, Arkansas. Um, uh, uh, so, uh, general overview: mm-hmm. a lot of chaos, a lot of things happening, a lot um, of interesting back backstage stuff. Uh, a new lot pregnant, of backstage a, a new stuff. a new pregnant champion. I figured out something. Oh yes, I figured out 
because the relationship dynamic between Mike and Maria Canella seemed very familiar to me. It has it has since they first came back onto Raw. Okay. Since, like Maria, since, since Maria started being the bitchy character. Okay. Are we about to do couples therapy? No, 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 no. I finally realized where it what it reminded me of. Um, over the past couple of weeks, I I vary which TV shows I fall asleep to. Okay. <laughs> no, it's it's, it's my thing. watch list. It's a thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. 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 I don't put. I don't. It's not my watch list because it's shows I've already seen before or don't care. It's my it's my like, watch list through my like, eyelids. Yeah. Like the fiance falls asleep for, to forensic files. I fall asleep to like how I met your mother. But lately, I've been putting on that 70s show. Mm. <gasps> yep. You just got it. Jackie oh, and Kelso. Yeah. Jackie and Kelso. That is exactly what would happen if Jackie and Kelso got married. That's exactly it. And I realized it tonight when she was not, when she was banging on the door screaming, Michael, I'm like, she's just doing a Mila Kunis impression. That's fantastic. She's just doing a Mila Kunis impression, and that actually, it, it's a easier pill to swallow for me now. Do you think it's? Do you think it's like that straight on in the in the writers' room where like da 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 da, just like Jackie? I wouldn't be surprised. No, they are. Um... I wouldn't be surprised, or either that, or they like get the direction and then they take, you know, cues from the other thing. Somewhere along the line between writing team. And Mike and Maria, there is a That 70s Show fan. And I think it's Mike. It's probably Mike. Yeah. It might even be Maria. Maybe they just couple binge watch it like two weeks ago and be like, yeah, it, that's it, us. It's that's entire, what we need to do. It's entirely possible because they have a young one and they're probably not sleeping that great. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. But yeah, like I picked up on it in the first hour of Raw after Mike won the title. I'm like, Oh my God! It's Jackie and Kelso, and he's playing the Kelso part, fucking perfectly. Mm-hmm. Like it's, it's spot on. It really is because because it's not an emasculation. It's an emasculation only for her. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like like everyone like everywhere else, Mike Canellis acts like a normal guy. Like on 205 Live, he acts, you know, like a like a wrestler. But anytime Maria says anything, it's like he immediately kowtows to it. I love Just it. like him. Yeah. So so beyond that. So it's that 70s Raw. We saw a lot of focus on 24-7 that, uh, title that was a little different. I hope the title is written off for six months. <laughs> <laughs> for the rest of her pregnancy? Yep. I thought about that I'm, too. I'm, I was I'm like, "Is legit, this how we I'm got le- rid of it?" I'm, I'm legit serious about that. Mm-hmm. I'm, le- I, I hope it's gone. I love it though. I love this stuff. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I, Truth and Drake can only do so much. But now Maria's it's, involved, it's... and you didn't see Truth I... or Jake Drake for the rest of the night. Thank God. I think they're done. I think this is. The, I, think, I think the whole title's done. I think that was the blow Unless off of the two of them. Unless it's Braun, that's mm-hmm. the only way. Because, but the thing is, how do you ha- how do you pin Maria? Mm-hmm. I what like, I really think it's them running off the title. Either that, or and this is a very, very large or. Maria's not pregnant. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's Heyman. Can't rule anything out. No, absolutely not. Can't um, rule anything out. Like, so, like, like we see a backstage skit of her pulling out a pillow from her shirt. It wouldn't be the shirt. first time. I mean, Stephanie did that, right? Yep. Yeah. So, um, or I, I saw someone on Twitter, or they just have Gene Snitsky take out Maria. <laughs> Gene Snitsky, you haven't been here for ten years. What's happening? Hashtag Raw Reunion. <laughs> can we do it raw? It's, it's can we not do it? my fault. We do a raw reunion, but not of the legends, just people who happen to have been on raw. Like, give me Gene Snitsky, Jason reunion. Jordan. 
I want a Raw reunion of people who have le- legit not been on Raw in ten years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the uh, oh, the uh, the Basham brothers. Uh, let's see. Jim and I. G- Jim and I. <laughs> Even though I know they're only exclusively on SmackDown, I don't care. Oh, uh, Max Moon. I mean, it's uh, yes. Mm, Techno Team Two Thousand, mm-hmm. but now they seem really outdated. Mantor, Mantar. Uh, yeah, either no, that no, or wait. or they float in from the sky and we call them Techno Team Three Thousand. Techno Team Two Two Thousand uh, comes in, but all they do is reminisce about fifteen years ago. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's it. Um, anyways, to be fair, that's all the legends do too. Oh, oh! hot takes, hot takes, scorching um, hot takes. If you guys have any ideas who you'd like to to see at the uh, the the non-legends retro raw uh please let us know in the uh Ooh, vladimir kozlov vladimir kozlov actually yeah and he, he he came up in something i saw online recently uh yeah. please let us know in the wrestling ma'am show facebook group uh what your uh uh sad retro raw reunion would be or better one actually <laughs> who knows i can only see yeah oh it, it would absolutely be a better one <laughs> let's, let's be honest about this um we had uh Oh, you know, DraftKings, DraftKings, don't don't bet on wrestling. Don't bet on wrestling. Seems like a bad idea. Don't, no, no, don't 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 bet on wrestling. Depending on how that goes, I could see them changing a finish to something just to screw over yep, DraftKings. They've done it before. They have done. They've that done before. it before. That's messed up. Yeah, that's messed up. And you know it going. Pretty sure, in. anyway. You know it going in. I, I don't know. Anyways, um, uh, a lot of wrestling tonight. Seemed like yeah, there was there was a gauntlet match and oh Sorg, they wrestled through the commercials. Yeah, do you, know how, do you know how pleased I was to see that? Yeah, it looks like we're done with the two out of three falls experiment. Thank God, and and we did a gauntlet match. So gauntlet match, you know, it's a couple different matches in a row. That's fine. But still, <clears throat> Tina says uh, it's illegal in Washington State. That's also, okay. they updated my. This is a side note. They, you know, I got the, <laughs> you know, I got the AMC uh, A list deal. Yeah. Um, at the end of the month, they're changing it, raising it, uh, three dollar, no, two dollars, which I oh, got, well, which they they held that back for six months for for early adopters, so mm-hmm. like everybody else was at. But also, I, it is now not eligible in California, New York, or New Jersey anymore. Oh, great. <laughs> well. <laughs> I don't know if you have any AMC's near you, sir. I mean, not anymore. Not what? <laughs> they're, they're, they're dead to me. They're, they're dead, dead to, to you. <laughs> dead to me. All right, so that's okay. Regal's got something coming out. Re- really? Yeah, I, I do just... have a couple. Of Re- I do have a couple of Regals near me. Uh, our, our cameraman Rob works at a Regal, so I'm curious his his opinion because I know the Cinemark guy was not happy about movie pass when I gave him a uh, Uber ride uh, uh, like two years ago. <laughs> so that was kind of really, really interesting. Anyways, guys, anyway, you know, raw. we're, we're yes, sidetracked man. as tonight's raw. Um, you know, there was a lot happening there. I, I love that. We started off with this 24, uh, seven match. No, but I hated that. You, uh, you hated that. As, no, as soon as, as soon as they announced that Carmella and Renee could not win the title, I immediately checked out. I am with you on that. I did not catch I that announcement. I immediately checked out. But also, I am... also realizing that it was a mixed, and in retrospect, realizing it was a mixed tag match involving the twenty four seven thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. Uh... No, uh, and I was okay with that. But whoever won the match should become the champion. True, 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 true. Like but... that, because honestly, if that wasn't the point, like to get it on Drake's wife. What the fuck was this entire thing for? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, to get her on Raw? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I guess. Either way, so this is happening. Uh, also, this is probably also clearing the deck because did you see what 205 Live is doing? Because on 205 um, Live, we are getting Drake and Mike mm-hmm. in like a street fight, I think. A non-sanctioned street fight. Is that this week, I think? I believe so, yeah. Dude, 205 Live has been fire lately. Like, f- yeah. like Fire. Like the good. best shit I'm watching on television right now is 205 Live. Mm-hmm. Like 205 Live is kind of replacing NXT in my heart. Wow, really? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's where I'm at. NXT has That's... been doing it for me lately. I mean, it's good. It's good, but again, it's like it's like saying 
I mean, it's a, it's like saying, you know, the worst Mar- Marvel movie is still a really good movie because it's a Marvel movie. Like, mm-hmm. like that's where I'm at with this, right? I mean, it's like... But I mean, George, let, let's, let's agree. Takeover's going to be amazing. <laughs> oh, Takeover's going to be fucking great. Let's be honest about this, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to lie, this Takeover card... Oh boy! I'm half paying attention, but I it just oh I always boy. know. I show up, I watch Takeover. We cool. Oh, I'm not watching it live because I decided to go to local wrestling. Hmm. Sorg, Sorg, two out of three falls. Mm-hmm. Cole and Gargano. Mm-hmm. Three different stipulations. Mm-hmm. And Grant, well, all right, two different stipulations. Let's be realistic, because Adam Cole is picking a normal one-on-one match, because mm. that's how he beat Dragon Gargano. So. But um, Dream, Dunn, Roddy. <gasps> yes, please. I haven't watched last week yet. Yes, yes, please. Yes. Yes, oh, yes, oh, and, please. Also yes ca- and please. Also been catching up with a little bit of NXT UK. Uh, I was, uh, oh, geez, what was happening? I Just a lot of a lot of the Coffee Brothers and, and whatever the hell that team's named. Um, I'm up around like episode 20. Okay. So, I don't know. I think they just advertise the Survivor Series. So that's where I'm at. Um, now I'm realizing it's halfway through the year now, and it's like, huh, how about that? Anyways, I love I love English wrestling. But anyways, uh, so a lot happening. Uh, Brock Lesnar is an animal. Brock came out. Yep. Tore him apart. Yep. Uh, Ziggler, Ziggler uh, Shawn Michaels Ziggler. thread. Uh, it happened tonight. All right. If you're, all right Ziggler. This has always been the problem with you. Mm-hmm. If you're going to come out to Shawn Michaels music, mm-hmm. you have to come out with a Shawn Michaels vest, mm-hmm. with Shawn Michaels pants, mm-hmm. and you have to do the full entrance. That's your problem, Ziggler. You don't he go all the way. Anything. He has that. He half has everything. So you got that, which rolled into Seth and Brock tear apart, which rolled into an ambulance thing, which rolled into everybody fighting in the back, which rolled into everybody fighting out front. Uh, that which, as Tina's pointing out, Cedric doing his best to Jeff Hardy impression tonight. I loved the chaos. I love this. It, it, Raw is returning to it, it. It's getting feeling more of the anything can happen kind of thing, um, mm-hmm. which I mean, which as certain somebody. Is is exactly what he said needs to happen to Raw. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the only thing I worry about, and I was thinking about this over the weekend, the people that have taken over for Raw and SmackDown, mm-hmm. not necessarily known for their progressive women's storylines. No, no. That that concerns me. Yes. But... I do. Lo- I do love Becky saying she's Canada's new hero, though. That's, <laughs> that's amazing. Um, Tina says that she's confused by Becky and Natalia. We all are. <laughs> yes, I, I think that's we... because uh, that's because Natalia can't act. Yeah, and Becky can act very well. Um, also, Natalia saying, you know, I would completely uh, 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 challenge this to a sub- sub- submission match, but she wouldn't accept. And then she walked away. I'm like, wait a minute, what? What did we even do here? What are we doing here? It's like me for the first two hours of Once a Time in Hollywood last night. What are we even doing here? I I, I don't know. I I don't know, Sorg. Like I, because. Like, um, Lisa was asking me when we were watching Raw, she's like, are they trying to get people to boo Becky? And I'm like, I don't, I think they're maybe doing it just in case she gets booed in Canada. They're preparing her for Canada. They're priming yeah, her I, for but, Canada. But uh, Natalia ain't Bret Hart. How bad like, is it going to be? Becky, How- Becky is going to get wildly cheered in Canada. Yeah, what's going to happen when Natalia gets booed in Canada? She's going to cry, Sorg. <sighs> Sorg, I really I really think that's what's going to happen. Um, I mean, there's got to be contingency for that, right? Right? Mm-hmm. Let's hope. Anyways, we'll see what SummerSlam happens here in just under 2 weeks. Um new champs, the uh well, the entire club, they're still the club to me. Fuck it. Uh, the OC, come on, come on. California. Mm-hmm. 
All I can tell you is this is the worst town I've ever been in. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sorg. Did we already I... make SEU j- jokes about that last week? Is, am yeah, I, am I re- we're going okay. to make it. We're going to make it every week, though. Mm-hmm. I love T- Tina, and, and she posted this on one uh, one of the other uh, uh, things too. Uh, she says she's just waiting for that shimmer footage between the two of them. I think she said it on the chat last week. To recap for that sweet um, they, video, they they, t- they showed some pictures on Twitter. Did they? They had they had some pictures of them oh, from that. Yeah, back. I think I did see that. Yeah, but Natty is not good at Twitter either. Well, it's like, hard, Nat, like man. Natty, Natty had one good tweet, and I don't think she wrote it. <laughs> um, Becky and Natalia is going to be outshined by the rumored Charlotte versus Chris. Oh, that makes complete man. sense because wasn't Sh- Sh- I? All right, okay. Can we? We need to talk about this. What are we? Wait, what? Um, Jerry Lawler should not be talking. I was waiting on, for on you SmackDown, was... on SmackDown at all, and should definitely not be talking to women. It's like he's got an on-television PFA. Yeah. If Mike had his way. Uh, yeah, I, I figured that was going to be grown-worthy uh, in some fashion, but uh, I, I was curious what it was setting up, but Charlotte makes completely sense after her promos last week. And by the way, new uh, Mayhemer uh, co-host uh, Ronnie, Ronnie Starks is with us in the chat room. Hi, Ronnie. Uh, expo- um, expo- Ronnie, Ronnie, did you get Sorg his coffee yeah, yet? Yeah, there, better be, there better be coffee tomorrow. Like in the in the Starbucks, just a little bit of foam, um, almond milk, not soy. That makes me. Uh, so just putting that out there. Yeah, Ronnie, you gotta get on this shit, man. Yeah, we've. Been, um, I, I don't know if you did. Checked. Did uh, did producer Missy give him her demands yet? Oh no, she's still working on it. Oh boy. Oh boy, Ronnie, you don't know what you're getting into. Oh boy. And he <laughs> and he, he's he's the rook. He is the he's rook. The ro- he's the rook. We gotta haze him. Can we call him Proby? Oh yeah, Proby Starks. That's a thing Proby now. Proby Starks. Yes. Proby Starks. That's a thing now. <laughs> that is. That is. At- Have you been watching NCIS Sork? <laughs> no, but I watched Rescue Me the entire thing. So, ah. I mean, well, that's probably worse. <laughs> Proby Starks. Sork. That. That's his. That's his name. Tomorrow night on the show, <laughs> he has to earn back Ronnie. What did you think of Raw last night, Proby? Ha <laughs> Yes, I, lo- I love this already. <laughs> this, is, this is great. Oh. Sork, Sork, we'll grade him every show. We'll grade him. We'll I grade him. It. Oh my God, this... we have Tom- we have him and Thomas Mathis tomorrow. Oh, good. Have you? Has he, have you? You haven't been on a show with Mathis yet, have you? I don't. I. I don't honestly. Okay. I don't know. Last time he was here, he was well. No, the last time we for, we did. <laughs> he just said, "Oh God." Last chat. time he was here, it was um, it was an interview. But the time before that, what I think the first video game thing we did was, which was a Smash Brothers tournament, and uh-huh. uh, him and uh, Honey Badger uh, started yelling at each other, and um, just they were just cutting promos while they were playing Smash Brothers, right? And something, something. Um, at least I can enjoy Thanksgiving. Uh, and then he showed his packs, and that was it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Riz was somehow a part of that, too. Um, <laughs> Riz did not show his packs. Uh, but Proby Starks. Proby Starks. I love it. I love it. it starts. Also, the only Mayhemer that has his own official trading card. I was just looking at it the other day over on the shelf. So, there you go. We need Mayhem. We need Mayhem show cards. Mm-hmm. I got some people to talk to about that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> to be fair, as far as I know, we are the only podcast with their own Monopoly game. This is true. We should play mm-hmm. that live on the air sometime. You should. I made. I made that sword. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I made that. It, well, and, all it, all the references are probably way out of. I'm going to say if we do that now, all the refer- like all the inside jokes are from people that watched the show five years ago or so. Maybe even longer. Yeah, than actually, that, probably yeah. longer than that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that needs to happen. Um, put that on the list and. <laughs> yeah, there's some really interesting chats going on right now. Um, anything else from Raw? Uh, uh, uh love the tag team stuff going on. Uh, uh new champ, new champs. We should mention champs. it. I, 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 yeah, think I, uh, I think I was on the verge of mentioning that. We have two factions with triple gold. 
Oh, oh, the, oh. The new day, the new day in the OC. That sounds like that's uh, heading towards a very nice uh, Survivor Series match. In the oh, near future. If, you, if all of those people still have titles by the time Survivor Series rolled around, I'll be very shocked. Or maybe a very special uh, warring faction match in, I don't know, Hell in a Cell or something. What the hell's next? Or maybe or, something to go up against All Out. Or maybe something that happens in a desert somewhere. Maybe, um, well, let's see. Uh, we just had Smackville. So maybe, um, what? sorry, sorry pick, pick another city in the south. Or the I would Midwest. say, well, I was going to say Brawl in the Berg, but that's going to be a Raw next week. Um, yeah, no. Um, how about Raw Lake City? Mm. Or, I don't know, um, Billings Raw Tana. I don't know. Raw Tana Beach? Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. By the way, Smackville. How I spent my Raw summer vacation. Yes. I know what you did last Raw. (laughs) Now we're just going into movies. I'm sorry. Oh, boy. (laughs) But, yeah, um, as soon as the club won the belts, uh, I think Xavier Woods and Big E all tweeted, like, surprise gifts. Like, ooh, really? So uh, that might be interesting. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, it was fun. I I like this stuff. I loved. I loved. I loved the. <laughs> I loved the backstage. This is me being the cinema guy, um, mm-hmm. and watching fancy shit last night too, or they did something similar, but not, but fancier. Um, that we started with them, him being wheeled out, rolled to Rome and pondering the situation, fighting himself in and the fight. Becky was back there too. And what? Becky was back there, too. And Becky was back. Oh, oh, I didn't even catch Becky. Uh, yeah. And then rolled back to the ambulance, which rolled into Brock on the other side and continuing the mayhem. Just like, wow, that's that's ambitious. Yeah, that, that last F5 on the stretcher, oh, that, that one hurt. Ooh. That one hurt just looking at it. That was, that, that, but man. Now, now, does this make you think that Seth is getting that belt back? I... I it sets up a real Because I mean I, I no, okay, I can't tell you what it what I think is gonna happen for the final, but I know the story going into this match has my attention. Cause I mean at first I thought it was just gonna be Brock steamrolling over Rollins at mm. SummerSlam and you know, keeping the belt until whenever Whatever whenever. happens, whatever happens at SummerSlam will be I want it to be competitive. Mm-hmm. But it kind of has to be, although now they're. I think it's. I think it's going to be some kind of some kind of gimmick match now. Well, I an think ambulance match makes sense. Every time somebody gets wheeled out, I'm like, well, this is an ambulance match. What are we doing? No, I don't think they want to do that for a main title. No. The, amb- the ambulance match is boring. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, well, it depends on what you do around the ambulance, right? Like, I, I there's the one time where I think Kane choke slam somebody. I through yeah, the but ambulance. I don't. I don't trust Brock to make an ambulance match entertaining. Okay. Okay, but Seth, but Seth will work his ass off to make it work. Yeah, and we that's know, true. Um, no, I, I don't know about him getting it back, but I, I, I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be a highlight of the night between the two of them, one way or another. Mm-hmm. So, um, I don't think we're done adding stipulations too, dude. especially since since Natty suggested a submission match, mm-hmm. which is great. That that actually works for those two. Mm-hmm. I like that. Um. I still think we're getting some kind of stipulation on the Owens versus Shane match tomorrow night. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Because right now, because right now, it's if Owens loses, he quits. Yeah. I think Shane's gonna put that up as well. Mm. I I think it's I think it's gonna be a loser leaves town match. I, I that that makes a lot of sense, and the Shane stuff has to be leading towards a crescendo. Yeah. I, I, it better be at this point because mm. uh, I don't think they want Shane as a main guy when SmackDown goes to Fox. I don't know. I don't know. I like being alone. No, because because he's not athletic. Mm-hmm. Fox, more than anything, has been pushing. They want athletes. Mm-hmm. Shane is a great stunt man. Mm-hmm. He, he takes a lot of great bumps. He ain't no athlete. Yeah. He get, he gets blown up five minutes into a match. He looks like a damn baked potato. Mm-hmm. 
he's but, getting, I mean, he's getting up there. He is getting up there. By the yeah. way, speaking of people that you also um don't like to have on your television because they're over or forty, happy fiftieth mm-hmm. birthday, Triple H. I don't mind Triple H being on my television. I just don't want him to wrestle. No, 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 no. Um. Yeah, yeah, I don't mind Triple H being on TV. I just don't want him wrestling. I feel weird because I feel like this is the point where we're usually diverging with something like, "Hey, how was Lion King last week?" And uh, and and I don't know how to end the show now. And I don't have any big bombs to drop on you like I did last uh, last Monday. By the way, should we follow up on that? Oh, we should. Um, I, I, a lot has happened. If you remember last week, I announced uh, Thomas Ian Nicholas uh, was going to be on the Pittsburgh Current Podcast and was actually here in the studio. Mm-hmm. Um, if you check out the uh, social media for Sorgatron Media um, and, and Wrestling Mayhem Show, especially Instagram, uh, you'll see some image and video uh, with that. And, of course, Mike uh, was rec- starting to recount uh, Rookie of the Year. Of course, I couldn't put the entire thing because I can only put so much on Twitter. Uh, for video, sir, and you did go on for five minutes. Um, but Sorg, I can go on for longer. Oh, I know that. Oh, I know that, and 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 I made him aware of that as well. But uh, so so he liked it. He watched the clip where you were excited and recounting mm-hmm. rookie of the year. Yep. And was here, and I asked him, I was like, would you like to have a response to him? And yeah. we did record a response to him, which you can see. And 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 uh, you watched the video. Mm-hmm. Um, do you want to give me a recap? He, of the he, he he also now follows me on Twitter. Yes, your your new friend. Yes, your new friend. Um, I, 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 but Sorg, I, I'm all right. Sorg, I have a problem. uh Oh, and I realized this after after our conversation last week. Um, I don't own Rookie of the Year on DVD. What? I don't. What? Sorg. I have it on VHS. Oh, no, 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 no. respect. No, 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 no. I respect that. I have it on VHS. I was, my I problem, was just, my, I was just, is... hold on. I was just thinking about like, man, I should have had something American Pie for him to sign. And I realized, I think I also own that on VHS. Yes. My, my problem is, by the way, I should have told him American Pie, I believe, was the first DVD I ever bought. Ooh, mine was beyond the... Beyond the Mat and uh, and Highlander Two, I, I believe American Pie was the first DVD I ever bought. But um, so Sorg, I'm going to ask you uh, if we use the Patreon money this month mm-hmm. to send me a copy of Rookie of the Year <laughs> on DVD. Okay. Um, I will do a full three hour podcast on Rookie of the Year. It sounds like the. That sounds like the best use of our money, to be honest. Doesn't it? Oh, uh, let's see. What's hold on? I'm I'm uh, I'm looking. I'm taking a peek here on, on the good old Amazon. Well, I can rent it for you for four dollars. Uh. <laughs> Sorg, no, Sorg. I made it clear last week. This is this is a movie you need to own, mm-hmm. and I am. I was saddened. Like I I curled into a ball. I checked every streaming site I could find to watch, and alas, I did not see it anywhere. All right, all right, Mike. How about this? If I can, uh, if I can swing a thirteen fifty-five and uh, give you a free delivery by Wednesday, July thirty-first. Oh my God, that's how much it is on DVD. No, 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 no. That's how much it is for a four-pack with Rookie of the Year, The Sandlot, The Sandlot Ooh. Two, and Everyone's Hero. I only know of two of those movies and then... wow um i that that seems like a waste of money Cause, <laughs> well cause only half of those movies well, are good rookie rookie of the year by itself is 11.98 good gravy so for two dollars for two dollars wow. more for two dollars more sir you get the sandlot hmm i have the sandlot though Oh, then never mind. We'll just get Sork, it. Right. So where are you looking? I'm looking on Amazon's app. Target sells it for five ninety nine. Are I'm you just... serious? Target sells it for five ninety nine. Get yourself to Target. I I'm will. Not, I can't send you I don't have free shipping from Target, so you're on your own. Okay, all right. I sorg this all right, I'm do, looking do a ship the check Walmart, do a ship the store, do the thing. Um and make sure you got the you get your receipt that says, Hey, we have the thing. Um, because we grabbed it while we were smoking in the back. Com. Target.com. Ronnie's fine, five ninety nine. What is wrong with my app? Sorg, the Proby's beating you. Come on. The Proby. 
Look at this. The Proby is beating you, this Sorg. Is, this is un. This is the unacceptable. Proby is out interneting you. This is unacceptable. Wait, the, the, I'm looking at this. I looked at the same one. Oh no. Oh, I got free one day pickup. Oh, it's not available on Poughkeepsie. <sighs> Ship the store. Hold on. Ship the hold, store. Hold on, oh, Sorg. This is what this podcast oh, is down. Sorg, I, I don't I'm know what this is. It's it's just Mike. It's just Mike and Mike hang out on Mondays. Ooh, the Triple M show. Sorry, I'm going to look and see if it's uh, it's not in Stanford either. What the fuck? Uh not I. I don't know why I'd be going to Stanford, but I had to look. Who knows? I mean, you never know. I mean, maybe no one knows. Maybe Scott Stanford wants to. Learn his name? <laughs> Scott Stanford, yes. Yeah, Scott Wait, Scott Stanford. Stanford works in Stanford? No, Scott Stanford. And Stanford. With an with Stanford? An Stan yeah. Stanford. Yeah. Not Stan wow, there yeah. Sorg. Sorg. Within a hundred mile radius of Poughkeepsie, no target has rookie of the year. Ship the store, man. They'll ship it to you. I, I'm I'm go I'm going to. Go walk I, I'm in, not, do it. I'm not I'm not going to do that right now. Or while, do the while, thing. Um, drop project. it into yeah. I don't know. We've done this much so far online. You know what? The so, Proby should buy me that DVD. <laughs> Walk it. What did I don't? It, Damn it, Proby! <laughs> you can get a used copy for a dollar eighty four on Amazon. Yeah, but how much is shipping? Yeah, exactly. If I pay a dollar eighty four, that drops into an Amazon locker at Whole Foods. I actually said this to my wife today. I was like, "Hey, we were at first watch having brunch, like fancy mm -hmm. people, and uh, okay. and I was like, hey, is there a Whole Foods over here? I want to go shop like fancy people.'" <laughs> Sorg, hmm. but rookie rookie of the year. If you haven't seen it, like even though I got, I we didn't I, even talk about the I, video. So he appreciated. I got a couple facts wrong. I said, got a couple yes, facts wrong. Yes, so, some of them that made him younger. I was ve I was very excitable. He was happy that you got the name right. Yes, he gets that a lot. Mm -hmm. He talked about it a little bit on the show. Yes. Um, if, if he went in here, uh, it was a great, uh, I think, 40 minute discussion that Charlie had in the studio with him. He sat on the couch right over there uh, where the porn star uh, sat, not the Troy did, Lords without pants side. Did you did you tell him the porn star had not, sat there? I did not tell him that or okay. the Troy Lords without pants. Actually, I might have told him about the Troy Lords without pants. OK, that's fair. OK. Because I feel like that's a cautionary thing. Like it should be a warning on that side of the couch says Troy Lords had no pants over here. And then you make a decision for yourself because everybody's it's America. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I mean you know, I'm I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Uh, side um, side note, uh huh. Brandon in Kansas City owns it. Brandon, you need Brandon. Brandon, look at me. Look at me right here. <laughs> you need to watch Rookie of the Year tonight. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Do you it need for to Mike. Watch it. Do it for a Mad Mike. Yeah. Do it for Mad Mike. Also, download this program called Handbrake and send him a file. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. That's enough of this. Mad Mike, 483 on the tweets. Yes, and uh, I will kick you in the vagina <laughs> if you're a boy. <laughs> that was from Raw. Oh, that did happen. I'm quoting Raw. There's, I mean, I'm sorry. Like, like I'm pretty sure Jackie has said that exact phrase to Kelso. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm, somebody's like, gonna that, find a scene. I'm telling you that cinched it for me. I Somebody, figured it out. Somebody's gonna find a scene that is exactly beat for beat what we saw tonight. Sorry. We are through the looking glass here, people. <laughs> Something like that. Um, uh, so we're trying on the Twitter again. Uh, the absolute Thomas Mathis will be joining us at 9 p.m. Eastern Time Tuesday night on Wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh, live on Facebook Live and other formats as well that we'll be streaming. I'll follow all of our social media. You get a ping somewhere. And uh, he will be uh, this Sunday at Black Diamond Wrestling in Benwood, West Virginia in a last man standing match with the Beast Man. Yes. Yes. Um, so looking forward to that and myself trying to survive that uh, filming it. Uh, but anyways, thank you everybody for joining us. I, you know what? I don't know what this Monday thing is uh, anymore except for fun hanging out with you guys and Mike here. And uh, can't wait to see you guys next week. Until then, mayhem out. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the perfect time to attack. Don't give up what you want. Take it back. Wait for the perfect time to attack.
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more 